Hello everybody and welcome to this little fun thing we're going to do. Um, if you recall me saying um, I had a bit of a... Oh wait, no, I don't think I ever talked about it on here. So we're going to tell secrets now. Um, after uh, I was on and um, I ordered a bunch of stuff and um, it's a big secret because I don't remember what I ordered. So let's see. Um, this first bit is from Kathy's Half Price Books in Havertown, PA, baby. So let's see what we got here. I'm very excited because I don't know what's in here. Oh, sweet. Well, I have this um, as an audio book. Um, thanks. Oh, Kathy signed it. Kathy from Kathy's Half Price Books. That's awesome. Um, yeah. All right. So, yeah, I have this book on audio, but I do not have it in paperback. So, um, ooh, look at, I fucking love people giving me bookmarks. Kathy's Half Price Books, the book lover's bookstore. Thank you for choosing Kathy's. You're the best. No, Kathy, you are. And then it says other stuff. Visit us at kathysbooks.com. So, you guys go over there and give Kathy a good old shout out um, for being awesome. So, yeah. Why is this so much longer than the other books in the series? That is very bizarre. This is like, it's not quite that long, but, all right. Is it longer than that? No, they're the same size. That is weird. Anyway, so yeah, on cats. And, um, Zoe got me this. Never Any End of Paris by Enrique Villa Matas, I think. And it's, um, trying to be Ernest Hemingway is never easy. This is a beautiful, like... 60s it's funny because it's like a 60s style cover but it's a 60s style cover like aping like the 20s and 30s so it's this is just this is a gorgeous book vintage put it out like even if I absolutely hate this <laughs> I might just frame that or like put it in a bag and hang it up because that is just gorgeous. Look at that. That's cool. Okay, so I just got back from the post office and there was a ton of stuff there. But before I go any further, let me show you. What the hell was that? Oh, I have another bookmark in here. Um, you know how I was talking about the library card bookmarks? Um, Zoe, like, in the mail today, got something to be able to do that. So she got a freaking actual, like, date stamper for the library cards. Um, and I'm sure she's going to post pictures because it has a little display. It's actually really cool. And, um, like, we just totally geeked out over a fucking rubber stamp. So, but anyway, so I have some books here. A little mail hole to go on with the rest of these. What do we got? This is from uh, this is from Vashon Island Books in Vashon, Washington. So it came in like a nice hard cardboard thing and they wrapped it, which was nice. So let's see what this is. Uh, 
Drinking with Bukowski, Recollections of the Poet Laureate of Skid Row. Um, Drinking with Bukowski is a celebration of Charles Bukowski, one of America's greatest poets, featuring selections from a never-before-published interview and reminiscence poetry criticism and tributes from Raymond Carver, Wanda Coleman, Barry Miles, Harold Norse, Karen Finley, Jared Lachlan, um, Neely Travolsky, Linda King, Sean Penn, and many others. Huh. That's kind of cool. Oh. Look at that R. Crumb. That's really cool. Alright, so that's... That's not bad. Don't know what this is. It feels like a hardback, so I'm automatically assuming this is not something I ordered because I try really hard not to order hardbacks. Um, but this is from New Leaf Book Mercantile in Wichita, Kansas. I went to Wichita. Something. I probably fucked that up. And the Seven Nation Army couldn't hold me back. Uh, 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 uh. Oh shit, I did order this. Run with the Hunted, a Charles Bukowski reader, edited by John Martin. Um, I did not know this was in hardback when I ordered it. So, and there is cat hair on it, so... Stoked about that. That's cool. It's got a nice spine and everything. I wonder what the actual book book looks like. Oh, nothing fancy. No, it looks good. I just typically try to stay away from hardback books. They're big and clunky. But I do like getting bookmarks. So New Leaf is the Union Rescue Mission. Huh. All right, bookmark. Leave that with that. And this is from Read Books in Los Angeles. Instead of having a store, it has a command. Or maybe it's Read Books. Just meaning used. Oh, this is weird. It was in a bubble envelope and then in a vegetable bag from the grocery store. <sighs> this is going to be good. Scarlet, a memoir by Cupcakes. Holy balls. Um, I'm excited about this. If you ever read The Dog Women, um, this is Tanya. Tanya, right? Is it Tanya? Her name starts with a T in the book. But this is the chick that he ran around with. And there's some pictures of them. Um, for a short period of time, he was whipped on her, like beyond anybody's business. <clears throat> and from doing a little bit of research on the, um, like, Bukowski sites... This is probably, um, from what everyone says, the most, uh, like, tell-all, um, probably closest to the truth of the, um, books that written about him. So, um, that's cool. And again, like, no one will ever know. It's always word against word, but he really... Liked her a lot. Okay, this. Oh, this is going to be something fun. Get the fuck out of here. Are you kidding me? Okay, this is uh, from Wander Books and Video in Frederick, Maryland. Put it in a really nice mailer. Um, that's awesome. Okay. Oh my god, this is so fucking cool. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This is the Evergreen Reader, number 70, 
from September 1969. It has uh, Julius Lester, Charles Bukowski, John Lahr, Nat Hentoff, William Eastlake, Pas Dido, Portfolio by Richard Crystal. Um, this. This. This is fucking cool. Um, see, this is what happens when you get all fucking tore up. And you go on aid books at 3 o'clock in the morning. Because there's no one left to talk to. And you're on the West Coast. Um, you start buying completely awesome, totally cool shit that um, you never would have bought. Never even would have thought to buy it. Oh, that is so interesting. I wonder what's in that. Um, it's like getting presents for Christmas. Like, I have no recollection of this. Um, books from California, from Simi Valley. This is one of those weird vacuum seal mailers that I, makes me think I'm going to rip the book when I open it because it has this thing in the middle for some fucking weird reason. What is this? Oh, whoa, no way. Oh my gosh. This kind of stinks. It smells funny. Um, thank you for your order. Thank you. Oh, that was not very expensive at all. Okay. You guys are like, get to it. Okay, this, oh, this looks, oh, I'm excited. Okay, this is a new literary magazine called On the Bus. Um, and in this one, we have Bukowski, Journals and Poems, an interview with James Dickey and Tom Wolfe, um, and then some other shit. But this is like, this is the winter 93, spring 94, issue number 13, um, from Bomb Shelter Press. This is gorgeous. This is just like a big book. This is the way to do stuff, man. Look at me getting literary journals from tons of years ago, like some sort of learned scholar. What the hell's happening right now? Anyway, so um, that's that for now. And to be honest, I think there's more coming. Um, one, two, three, four, five... Oh, and then six. So I think there's four more coming because I think I bought ten fucking bucks. Um, so anyway, see you soon. Okay, everybody. We have another package here. And this is from Plum Circle Books in West Mifflin, PA. I think is how you say that. Um, this is one of those vacuum looking sealed things, but it, you know, I don't like that. Something felt fuzzy in here. Oh, on love. Now, um, I actually haven't read this at all. Um, which is awesome. How much did I spend on that? Oh, that wasn't bad. But this has one of those Bukowski 100 stickers. Now, what pisses me off is that last year, um, in August, there was supposed to be a Bukowski 100 poetry collection and audiobook come out. And I had pre-ordered the audiobook in like May or June, um, maybe even <clears throat> maybe even April, and um, it never came out, and I can't find anything about it anywhere or nothing. But it's a sticker. I thought it was like a like they just started putting that on all the books, 
So I want to take this sticker off and keep it. What would I put it on? Anyway, so um, this is on love. So it'll be a bunch of stuff on love, which is awesome. Um, looks brand new. I don't think anyone's ever read this. <laughs> Very cool. Awesome. Hello, everybody. And um, we are going through that big mail still. Uh, let's see what this is. This is from HPB Flagship. I think that's Half Price Books in Dallas, Texas. And what do we got here? We got a book that I can't get out of the bag. Oh my gosh, I can't get it out. What is this? Open City. Oh no, wow. What is this? <laughs> This is from summer 2008. I don't remember ordering this. I'm sure I did. But, um, how much did I pay for this? Does it say? I have no idea what I'm doing. It doesn't tell me how much I spent, which is probably a good thing. Um, let's see what's in here. Um, these are just their contributors. Oh, wow. They have some... They have some contributors. Um, not contributors, but, um, patrons. Are you going to tell me what's in this thing? How many pages do I have to go through to find out? Um, contributors notes. Okay, so there is some Bukowski in here, so that's probably why I got it. Um, a 2008, huh? The Silver Christ of Santa Fe. Huh. This is a really good looking magazine right here. Book. Thing with lots of illustrations and pictures and notes. Um, it's pretty cool. Huh. This is why you're not supposed to shop when you're drunk in the middle of the night. Jesus. I have no idea what's going on. All right, so here we are once again, um, and I'm hoping that this is the last of the, um, I had a little too much to drink and started ordering box um, haul. So let's see, this one here is from Half Price Books in Citrus Heights, California. It is just in one of these little plasticky envelopes that are hard to get into. Everything's hard. Nothing easy. And it just sucks, because when you're dealing with books that you don't want to damage, what do we got here? What do we got here? Ho oh, ho! Oh, it smells awful. Teatro oh. Gro Tesco by Thomas Leggetti. So for those of you, um, oh, dude, let me tell you, this is a nice size. I thought this was going to be <coughs> a much larger book, but the print is nice. Um, the line spacing is okay, but man, this paper feels amazing. Oh, this is probably the, uh, this is a, a UK edition, 
Um, so maybe the American version of this is what I'm thinking of that just is kind of bigger than I think it should be. But this feels good. Oh my gosh. Look, I could just like... Like, none of this stuff is... Most people probably don't care about this stuff. But this paper... Look at how just the page is like... Oh, sorry. It just... Oh. This is nice. The cover is not as nice as the interior pages. But the binding's good. Look at that. Not a crease in the spine. Nothing. Oh, this was a great freaking buy. Oh, this feels good. I, I wish the cover didn't feel like this. And I think the cover is a little too thick for these pages. But that's me being a psychopath. But this is awesome. So for those of you who are in the know, um, we're doing a group read of this and um, Conspiracy Against the Human Race um, next month, which is very soon. Um, I actually didn't think this was going to be here this quick. So that's awesome. So that leads me to believe this is from Housing Works Book Cafe in New York, New York. Down there on Crosby Street. Let's see. This is a bubble mailer. Taped. Oh. I have a feeling I'm going to have a hard time getting into this. Okay. Ah. What do we have? Yeah! Ah. Uh. Oh my gosh, the biggest of all. Why is this huge? Oh, god damn it. How come I can't have nice stuff? Okay, this is Charles Bukowski's On Drinking. Um, and the Harper Lux edition, which is apparently the large print. You are... Well, I had a bookmark, and now I don't. Well, at least I'll be able to read this from the moon. So, that's really cool. This does not feel good in my hand. Um, and it doesn't match my other books. And, of course, it's the last one to finish this chunk of my collection off. Mother F. Oh, that is so disappointing. And the covers, like, um, gloss and all the other covers of those books are matte, but the good matte, not that nasty velvety. Oh, what? oh, damn it. That's probably my fault. It probably said large ass print for blind motherfuckers. And I just, this is from Super Book Deals Fulfillment Center in Columbia, Maryland. And a nice cardboard mailer. Mailer, I hardly know her. Alright. Please let this be what I think it is. It is. Oh, what a wonderful note to end this on. Oh. oh, I've been wanting to read this for so long. I forgot I ordered this. And the reason why my um bill that day was so big was because of this. I couldn't, I wanted to put this video out um, a little while ago, but I'm like, no, I gotta get all the books in that I ordered. But I couldn't remember what I ordered. So I had to go into my Abe um, orders and see what was in there. Loving and Hating Charles Bukowski, A True Story by Linda King. Oh. <sighs> Oh, the formatting in this book is awful. Look at how, like, we're about to get cut off up here, guys. Um, oh. I cannot wait to read this book! Because uh, I bet it's just batshit crazy. And um, the majority of it probably won't even be true. Um, or it could be. I don't know. Um... Oh, that's going to be so awesome. 
And I'm, I'm just hoping that that's better than Scarlet, which I already read, and I'll be doing a video on later. Also, one quick thing before you go. Um, I'm making kind of a huge, at least huge for me, announcement um, probably later today um, about something that I'm going to be doing that I think a lot of you would really dig. So um, just keep your eyes and ears open. So anyway, guys, so um, don't drink and shop. You know, um, it's bad form. Don't do it. Um, although you do get surprises, so it is kind of like Christmas, but don't do it. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.